The topic here is finding derivatives using chain rule. Uh, the definition says derivative of res with respect to x of f of g of x. So f here is the outer function. Function, I'm just going to say ft. And g of x is the inner function. ft means function. Now, derivative with respect to x of f of g of x, it's going to be f prime, which is deriv derivative of the outer function. So, derivative of outer function of g of x. See, g of x, nothing happened to it, times derivative of the outer. Derivative of outer function. All right, so let's see how, let's use this example, see how we can use that. Now, we need to find the derivative dy dx. Now, y is equal sine of 3x squared. So this is the outer function, and this is the inner. So according to the definition, it's going to be the derivative of the outer. I mean, let me move here. The derivative of sine, and the definition is right here. The derivative of sine is cosine. So it's a cosine of the inner function g of x. So 3x squared plus 1 times, let me do parentheses, times a derivative with respect to x of g prime so times derivative of g prime which is 3x squared plus 1 so derivative of g which is g prime so here's a multiplication here now this is going to be pretty easy this is cosine of 3x squared plus 1 Time derivative with respect to x of 3x squared plus 1 is 6x. And then we can just rewrite this, just move the 6x to this side. So this is 6x cosine of 3x squared plus 1. Yeah, and that's it for this example. In other words, you can we can rewrite this as a definition. For example, if you try to find a derivative of sine of a function u with respect to x then this is just going to be always going to be a cosine of u times derivative of u dx and that's what we did now, for example, 2, it's almost similar, except we have a cosine. Now, same thing. This is the outer function, and this is the inner function. So, dy dx is equal to derivative of the outer, and it's right here. Derivative of the outer of the cosine is minus sine. So, it's minus sine of the inner function, which is 2x cubed minus x squared, everything times the derivative of the inner, derivative with respect to x of 2x cubed minus x squared. Uh, therefore, dy dx.